The first ever Legends League trophy base we have ever seen inside of this game. Can you take a guess in that comment section? How many trophies do you think this base was worth? Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and of course it is time to continue our push up towards that Legends League, and I can tell you right now, this has been the best day in a very long time for trophy pushing, we have gained so many trophies today, and we are about to hit the Titans 1 League inside of this episode, now we have just taken on our very first ever legendary player, we found a Town Hall 10 legend, and I want you guys to take a guess down below in that comment section, how many trophies do you think we were offered? And I'm telling you now, this is the biggest trophy offer I have ever seen inside of this game. So check this out. Before we do get into that raid, I found a Titan 1 player, a Town Hall 9 Titan 1, and he was worth 37 trophies. Check out the loot as well. So much free loot at the top of the base. I just couldn't turn this up. I had to go all out on this base, make sure I triple starred it, and of course grabbed every single penny of that loot. So of course we are trying to push to the Legends League as you guys know. We are currently sitting at 4,715 trophies live inside of my COC account right now. You will see us push above Titans 1 League inside of this episode. So please make sure to stay tuned. This is going to be probably the biggest trophy pushing episode we have ever done on the channel to date. Now of course as we push closer to the Legends League the episodes are only going to get better and better. So please make sure you do subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with all of the content content guys do not forget we post coc content twice a day every single day please also feel free to leave a like down below if you do want to see me hit that legends league 5,000 trophies let's go for 5,000 likes so you can see we went all out inside of this base we sent in the entire bowler army the giants the healers the wizards the heroes and we also kept back that free spell to use it when the queen required it because the queen was on her own she didn't have any healers with her and of course the queen is one of the most important units that you have inside of your army so we kept the free spell we dropped it on the cannon and the mortar and thankfully the queen managed to take down those walls and of course take down those two defenses now this as i said obviously isn't the uh, the hardest three star to get inside of the game it's a town or nine he's a titan player so massive shout out to this guy he's played a very hard game to get all the way up into the titans one league as a town or nine player and i felt quite bad you know honestly I did feel quite bad taking 37 trophies from him, but at the end of the day, guys, it's a game, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I've got to eat, and I've got to eat his trophies, so that's the way the cookie crumbles, that is the way the cookie crumbles, I mean, I get three-starred on defense all the time, so to be fair, I don't really feel too bad, so we are going to be going in for a live attack to surpass the Titans 1 League very shortly, but of course, just before we do, we picked up 37 trophies inside of that raid, but I am about to show you the biggest cup raid I have ever seen in my life. Take a guess in that comment section if you haven't already, guys. How many trophies do you think this attack was worth? So I will say, I will say before the raid starts, this is the biggest fail I have ever done in my life. You know what? I'm just going to tell you guys. I'm just going to straight up tell you. The base itself was worth a massive 44 cups. 44 cups! It's a Town Hall 10 legend, the first legend I have ever seen. And you will not believe it. I was so scared, I was shaking so much because it was worth so many cups, I actually one-starred the base. I one-starred it, not even a two-star, just a 75% one-star. I cannot believe it. We only got 14 trophies, but it was worth 44. Literally the biggest fail of my entire life playing this game was this one single raid. You can see the Inferno Towers at the top completely destroyed my entire army. Nothing went for the Inferno Towers. My funneling was horrific. I blame no one but myself. And unfortunately, we let 44 trophies just slip out of my hands. Now, obviously, I'm still very lucky to pick up 14 cups from one single raid. From a one star, 14 cups is absolutely massive. I am hoping to see some trophy offers of 50 and above. So just make sure, as I said, to stay tuned and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Because as we push closer to the Legends League, it is very likely that the cup offers get more and more. So check it out, I mean the bowlers, the entire army, they've done a decent job, they went around the entire base, we got a 100% loot bonus at least, that, that's, a, that's a good thing at least. But overall the damage was only 75%, we only picked up a 1 star, and the town hall was still left standing. 
So the lesson that I have learned from this raid is do not be nervous when going up against Legend League bases. I mean, I honestly was shaking, guys. 44 trophies to me, as I said, it's the biggest well I have ever seen in my entire life playing this game. I haven't even seen 44 trophies at the lower leagues, but inside of the Legends League World Titans 1 League, as you're approaching the Legends League, 44 cups is so big. Now, I will say this, check this out, guys. So we done that attack, we got a one star, we got 75%. We took on that Town Hall 10. Moments later, I built up another army and I went straight back out and I found another Town Hall 10 base. Unfortunately, it was only worth seven trophies. But check this out. This Town Hall 10 base was better than the previous one. I three-starred this base, no problem whatsoever, because it was only worth seven trophies. I wasn't scared. I wasn't nervous. I knew what I was doing. I funneled my troops in, took out the Inferno Towers nice and early. So I got a three-star on a Town Hall 10 base. Obviously, the previous attack, because as I said, it was so many cups, it just really makes you nervous. It's like doing a war attack and everyone's watching. That's what I kind of felt like. Obviously, you do learn, guys. You definitely learn. Hopefully, we will find another trophy of above 40 cups, and I will get the triple star. So the queen's going around on the right-hand side. We've got the king and some of the bowlers up on the left, and it's looking like a very decent attack overall. Wasn't really too much pressure, and of course, the three-star came nice and... To be honest, easy. It wasn't really a hard attack, as I said. So we are about to go in for the live attack, which is going to send me into the Titans 1 League. Now, we are going to be making a bowler, healer, giant, wizard, hero spell attack strategy. We are going to go for a three star. Make sure you stay tuned. This is what it comes down to, guys. Will I get a live three star for the final push into the Titans 1 League? So check out the end of that raid, a beautiful triple star, loads of loot, and of course, seven lovely trophies. So now it's time. This is what it comes down to. It's all or nothing. We are currently sitting at 4,683 cups. So we're going to do a couple of raids off camera. Then we will be back in a few moments time, maybe like half an hour in real time, where we find a live attack. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back in three, two, one, boom. So we met guys and of course we have found ourselves our live attack. This is the actual attack which is going to get us into Titans League. I think we're sitting at 4,696, 97 trophies. So a couple of cups off the Titans 1 League. We are going to be attacking this base. We are going to be going for the 3 star. And we are also going to be using the standard army. So check it out. We're going to come in from the angle. We're going to come in from the side. Because it will allow us to penetrate the base as hard as I want. So basically we're going to be sending in the uh, the giants as the tank. Send in the bowlers. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability nice and early. Just to make sure those wall breakers survive. And make it through both layers of the walls. Now check out this base. We can use a free spell. And the free spell is actually going to get both of those Inferno Towers. That is the biggest fail base you will ever see. If you can drop one free spell and get both Inferno Towers, then the likelihood of you three-starring the base is a lot greater. So the bowlers have made it into the center. Inferno Towers down. The second one's about to fall. We've already taken out the Eagle Artillery, guys. It's looking great. It really is looking great for that three-star. Now, the base itself is worth 10 trophies. So not too bad, not too bad. That's going to take us to about... What is it? 4,709, 4,710. So check it out. The queen on the right hand side. We still have her ability to use. The king has just gone down, but it's okay. He's done a great job. And of course, 79, 80% so far. No air defense is left to take out my healers. And it's pretty much a guaranteed triple star. Still got the queen's ability. There's loads of bowlers left. And I think the free spell, that double free spell, the free spell, which got both Inferno Towers really locked in this raid for me. And allowed me to torture this guy. I mean, one of the easiest three stars on a Town Hall 11 I've done for a very long time. I think his defenses were close to 100% maxed out. So a very decent attack. You can see we still had plenty of troops remaining. And we are about to clean up the rest of this raid. So there it is. We're going to drop down the last archer on that actual gold collector there. And the triple star is in the bag. Beautiful live attack by myself, if I do say so myself. Perfect three star in the bag. Loads of loot, 10 trophies, and a great loot bonus. And that is going to take us straight into the Titans 1 League. So 4,710 trophies. What a great start to this episode, guys. Well, really, it's the end of the episode. But check it out. The, niche, the Knicks League is the Legends League. So we are approaching 200 and... What do we need? 289 trophies to go. We need 4999. 
to reach that Legends League, guys. 5,000 pretty much. So I will see you very shortly in a few hours' time for another episode. Do not forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, stay up to date with all of the content we produce on a daily basis. How high can I go in trophies? You're just going to have to stay tuned to find out. I will see you shortly, guys. I'll see you on a Saturday. Peace out.